It's an uncharacteristically gloomy spring day in the land of the rising sun. But despite the rain, thousands of people across Japan have turned out to witness the end of an era. Today, I am concluding my duties as emperor. In his 30 years in power, Akihito devoted his time to making amends for World War II and bringing the monarchy, perceived as aloof, closer to the people. We reflect upon the long years in which the emperor thoughtfully shared the happiness and sadness of the people of Japan. We offer, once again, our deep respect and thanks. Akihito is known for breaking with tradition. He's the first emperor to marry a commoner, the first to speak live on TV, and the first to be visibly involved in raising his children. I will pray for the peace and happiness of all the people in Japan and around the world. His abdication brings to an end the Heisei era, meaning achieving peace, which began when Akihito ascended the throne in 1989. The 85-year-old will now be known as Emperor Emeritus, and with no more official duties, it's hoped he'll enjoy retirement by visiting museums and attending concerts with his wife, Michiko. They've been working non-stop for 30 years. I'd like to express my appreciation. Now that they won't have many duties, they can take it easy and travel around Japan. From now on, I hope they can take it easy and focus on their health and happiness. I want to thank them for everything they've done for us. Akihito is succeeded by his son Naruhito, heralding the start of the Reiwa era, which means beautiful harmony. Natasha Hussein, TRT World.